morning. Today is Tuesday, May 2nd. Um, it's cold. It's 44 degrees. It's only supposed to go up to 48. <coughs> it's been raining all morning. So uh, it's wet again, yet again. So I'm hopefully going to be able to walk between the raindrops again. I'm not that skinny, but I'll try. Uh, as you can see, no car. It's going to be, you know what, you never want to go anywhere until you don't have a way to get there. I, yeah, I could sit home every day of the week, not worry about going anywhere, but now I don't have a car. And it's like, ooh, I don't drive Jim's truck. It's too big. It's just, it's a 4x4, four four and it's got a full passenger, you know, like, what do you call it? Attachment? Not an attachment. Anyway, it's got a front seat and a back seat. Most trucks only have a front seat, but it's got a front seat and a back seat, and it's got a full bed because he's got to fit all of his stuff for when he goes hunting, his four-wheeler, his guns, his luggage, all of that, his blind. So it's a pretty big back. So it's a pretty big truck. Sandy, don't drive that truck. No. I remember way, way back, um, probably in, in the 80s, he bought a van because he was a Boy Scout leader. And it took me the longest time before I finally got in that and drove the van. I am not a very confident driver. I know you've heard that before. Denise has expressed her concerns many a time. But uh, my car's a small little car. It gets me where I want to go. My, um, I had one car. It was a Vega. And, um, oh, I hated it. It was a, a four-speed. And um, when I went to work, I had to go up, like, it's not a big hill, but it was a, just a hill, like an incline, not even a hill, an incline. And um, it was a busy street. So anybody that drives a stick shift knows as soon as you take your foot off the brake, put it on the gas and the clutch at the same time, the car goes backwards. And inevitably, some car would get right behind me, and I'd be so afraid that when I went to, so I always peeled rubber <laughs> because I was so afraid I was going to back up into it. But, uh, and then when my, uh, brother, I've told this before, my brother when he got out of high school uh, was a, a salesman and they gave him a car, a uh, company car that he had to drive which was an old man's car. It was like a Caprice Caprice Classic or something like that and oh, there's a birdie came in my garage just saying, do we need food? But anyway, um, and so he had bought a red Z28 Camaro 5 speed and I didn't have a car at the time and so my mother made him let me drive it to go to work. I love that car. I really did. And I didn't like driving, but I liked that car. So, um, Vader 57 wanted me to tell you the story about the dress, Denise's dress. Denise um, got married a little bit later in life and uh, when she met Gary. And uh, so uh, she just didn't want a big wedding. She just wanted to get married. She wanted to get married in the church, but she just didn't want a big wedding. So we kind of convinced her that, you know, you got to get a wedding dress. And she was kind of concerned because my father had passed away. And so she didn't have anybody to walk her down the aisle. And so she kind of, you know, wasn't, you know, that enthused about getting it. But, uh, you know, everybody, my mother convinced her. My mother actually walked her down the aisle, which I thought was perfect. And, um, and so anyway, so we talked her into getting this dress. And so we, you know, went to this dress shop and she found the dress. It was a beautiful dress. And, you know, they got to do alterations and stuff. And um, so she, they told her, you know, like, because she had decided so late that it was going to be really pushing pushing it to get it done in time. But we would definitely get it done, but it would be the day before your wedding. And so she said, you know, that would be fine. So, you know, with the, the hubba bub of, you know, like, getting the hall, getting the, you know, getting the gifts and, you know, for the people that you got standing up for you. And uh, people out of town coming in, you know, making arrangements for them for places for them to stay. Sandy's Hotel, because that's mostly where they stay. Usually when there was a lot coming in from out of town, you well, know, no, they usually stay at my house. But I think at that time they got a hotel, a hup tail, as we say. And um, so it was just a lot of confusion in that. And it wasn't until, like, everybody was leaving. It was like 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. Denise says, oh, my gosh, I forgot to pick up my dress. And so I says, well, I'll pick it up in the morning. Well, Denise was getting married at 11. And for some reason, this dress shop didn't open till 12. So I went there at 9 o'clock, and obviously nobody was there. They don't open till 12. And um, 
So I went back and I told Denise, and she says, well, that's okay. I'll just find a nice dress in the closet, and I'll just get married in that. And I go, no, you're going to have your wedding dress. So I went back to the place like about 10, because I know when I worked in retail, um, you always got there at least an hour before the store opened just to get things set up and, you know, last-minute changes, put stock out, stuff like that. And so probably about 10.30, no, about was a little bit after 10, the store manager, I could see get out of the car. And so I kind of approached her. And, you know, I explained that I wanted to get the dress. And she says, well, I'm sorry, you know, you can't get that. I'm the only one here, blah, blah, blah. And so she went in the store. So then um, then some the people that worked there started coming in. And um, I kind of snuck in with the people that worked there, <laughs> like I worked there. And uh, she says, what are you doing in here? And I said, you know, I demand that you let me have this. And she says, well, our registers don't open until 12. I said, she doesn't know anything. She's paid it off. I mean, it's just it's just a matter. And I had the ticket and everything. And she says, how did you get in here? And I says, I just walked in like I was an employee. I just, I figured that that's the way to get in here. And so she says, what do I have to do to get, get it through to you that, you know, we don't open till 12? And I said, well, what can I tell you that my daughter, my sister's getting married at 11 o'clock. I have to get this over to the church. I gotta get this to the church on time. So she said, you know what, you're a pest. But she said it in a nice way. So she says, well, you know, give me the ticket. And so she went and she got it. She gave it to me. So um, if anybody lives in the Detroit area, I don't even know that it's still there, but it's, it was a dress shop. Once again, once again, dress shop. Oh, I can't even remember the name of it. But anyway, it was, a, it was a, she was really nice. I don't think she's open anymore. I think she's gone. Now that I'm thinking about it, because it's right by where I go for my Chinese. But I think it's gone. But anyway, she was very nice, and she let her get her dress. So, you know, now that I got this coat on, I don't know that I'm going to need it now that I'm standing out here. We'll see. I'll probably be carrying it. So, enough babbling. Let's go. Let's go for our walk. Well, I beat the rain, but I didn't beat the wind gusts. Um, hopefully you're not hearing a shh, because it's quite windy. I think I had the wind at my back, so I think that's what you're supposed to do. But uh, walking into the wind was a was a bugger, I'll tell you. As you can see, I changed my jacket. Uh, before I started to walk, ooh, there's another wind gust. Um, I changed my jacket before I left because I thought that uh, it would be a little bit warmer. I, I think I made a good choice. I was I wasn't cold, wasn't warm, it was just right, as Goldilocks says. So I'm um, going to go in, have some water, take my shower, eat my breakfast, blah, 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 blah. Same old, same old. It's like lather, rinse, repeat. Lather, rinse, repeat. Sometimes that's my life. But uh, it was a nice walk. A little, little breezy. Not a little breezy, a lot breezy. So, um, okay, okay, let's go. That's all I got to say. Believe it or not, I'm at a loss for words. Not really. All right, let's have breakfast. Once again, it's heavy on the fruit. Um, I have a slice of toast with some peanut butter, some mozzarella cheese, blackberries, a hard-boiled egg, a banana, grapefruit, water, and tea. As always, I started my day off with a prayer. I have drank 32 ounces of water so far. I've walked 5,800 steps. And my quote is, today is another chance to get it right. Although I have a very hefty breakfast of 13 points, um, two for my egg, three for my ounce of cheese. Uh, mozzarella cheese is a little lighter. I don't know why. Um, my whole wheat bread is three. <clears throat> I actually have a tablespoon of peanut butter today. It's three points. My blackberries are zero. Banana, grapefruit, and tea and water is zero. So I use 13 points. I have 25 points left for my lunch and dinner. Well, I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I think I'm going to have an apple and a glass of water. Too exciting, I know. Okay, let's eat dinner. Mmm, I'm very hungry too. I have chicken, an acorn squash, a baked potato, tea and water. So I have six ounces of a boneless chicken breast. Um, it's skinless also. Uh, for four points, a baked potato for five. One tablespoon of butter for five points. Two tablespoons of sour cream for three points, a half a tablespoon of cheese for one point, my squash is zero, and my tea and water is zero. So it's 18 points. I have used 31 points. I have seven points left. Uh, my apple for a snack. I don't know if I told you about the apple, but I had an apple for a snack with zero points. Well, hopefully you can see me because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm too lazy to get up and turn a light on. It's getting dark outside. 
And I'm just basking in the light of the TV, <laughs> hoping that Jim's going to come down and ask me what I'm watching so I could say, could you close the blinds? Could you turn the light on? Because I'm being lazy. <laughs> I just don't want to get up. I'm just too comfortable. Um, I actually had another good day. I exercised and I ate properly two days in a row. Almost a record for me lately, I'll tell you. Um, no plans to eat out this week, so that's good. So I do see a loss this week. I'm hoping for at least two pounds. I know I'm shooting high, shooting for the moon. But you know, if you don't shoot for the moon, where are you going to go? There's got to be an expression that goes with that. I don't know what it would be, but... Oh well. I'll think of something. And when I do, I'll let you know. But it might be a while. You never know. So I hope you like the video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Always leave me a comment.